Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. And my God, am I ready for this game to be over? Jeez. There's only so much crappy innuendo I can take in one lifetime. And I'm really excited to get on to the next game. So we're just gonna kind of power through I, what I hope is the last part of Legion Suit Larry 6. So uh, last time we finished up merrily, we went bungee jumping and we introduced everybody to uh, Shamara. Yeah, Shamara. I only remember Shamara's name because you begin Legion Suit Larry 7 directly after the events of this game, which is kind of a jarring turn. <sighs> getting ahead of myself. Anyway, she wants batteries. Let's give her her flipping batteries. Here you go, here's your D cells. They put them right here. It looks like she's wearing little glasses. Here's your battery, Char. But I might mention I had to go through a lot of trouble just to find them. You, you needed a wrench. Relax. Oh, they're perfect. Woo-wee! There'll be a hot time in the Osha tonight. So, uh, what do you say? Uh, how about I climb in that mud with you for a little good, dirty fun? <laughs> <laughs> no, Larry, I have a much better idea. I've been in that Electroshock Exercise Center so much this week, I'm sure I know how to work it. Why don't we go over there for a little charge session? Ah, a good idea. I've already opened the door for us. Come on, Char, let's go right now. You've got it, Larry. I'm on my way. But first, I'll have to take a shower to clean off all this pesky old mud. After I shower, I'll meet you in the Electroshock Exercise Center. Looks like you're perfectly clean right now, but whatever. All right, well, we'll see you later. Well, that's the end of that. I know I'll never see her again. Oh, Larry, ye of little faith. Come on, we had to solve a puzzle to get into the door. You know there's gonna be a payoff of some sort. All right, and here we go. And then I think we've been in here before, but now everything just kind of happens on its own. Well, I suppose I have plenty of time to explore this place. Looks like someone's in the hot tub, not the hot tub, uh, tanning booth. Here I am, Larry. Hi, Char. That was fast. I really rushed through my shower. I hope you don't mind. I'm still dripping wet, and I didn't have time to put on any clothes. Um, being dripping uh -huh. wet in the electroshock therapy room is probably a really, really, what's the word, dumb idea. Yes. <laughs> but don't you need to be fully grounded, babe? Yeah. Oh, don't worry your pretty head about me. Just take off all your clothes and hop up on that table. Okay, if you say so. Now lie flat on your back, so I can have total access to your entire body. You're gonna hook all these hey, things up to my penis, aren't you? Work out all right yet, Larry? You've have you learned nothing? To begin, I'll just smear some randomly selected appendages with some of this electroconductive jelly. And by random, you mean my face, my nose, and apparently my left leg. Next, I'll attach these little alligator clips to various parts of your body. There's only so much of this Gone with the Wind talk I can take. I'll just take these little Ow. old clips right here and smooth on this little old ah. jelly to you right there. You didn't tell me this was gonna hurt. <laughs> Besides, if I'm on the table and you're on the floor, how can this be any fun? Oh, silly. Just wait until I get your juices flowing. You've never felt anything like this in your whole life. I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Okay, now let me turn on the machine. I'm ready to crank up the voltage a little. Tell me when you start to feel it. Ooh, doesn't that feel grand? No. Feel good? I don't feel anything, Char. Strange. Well, let me give it a little more. There now. How does that feel? 
great, isn't it? Great? I don't know what I'm supposed to be feeling, but I don't feel a thing. Huh? I don't understand. I thought for sure I've been through this enough to know how to do it to you. I don't like where this is going. I know you can feel it now. It's up all the way. Well, I'm not. Something's wrong, Char. Why don't you disconnect me and we'll just use his bench in the regular old way. What? I know there's something. Wait! There it is! Oh, silly me. <laughs> Look, Larry. It's this cable. Better than it It isn't plugged in. Ah! Shark! No! Stop! Ah! You can un... You're not bound. You can un... Alright, there you go. Ouch! Let me out of here! Well, that was unexpected. Bye. Yes! Oh, fist pump. Didn't I tell you I would turn you on? I'm dead. Oh, what? Oh, I thought that was like drool or urine or something, but apparently my necklace melted. Oh, I have another one. After a full night of sparkin', a little nap feels good. You know what? I never got that sparkin' reference until just now because I finally watched, what was it, uh, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers? They talk about sparkin', which apparently is their word for dancing or dating or kissing or something. I don't know, but sp that's, that's what sparkin'. Anyway, let's go down and get that glob of metal that fell off of me. Oh god, we gotta go all the way down there. What I wouldn't give for like a fast travel system. Besides Art's tram, that is. That doesn't really count. Hey, Art. Here we go. Uh, oh, wait, I don't... Oh, it's... It's... Derp, it's right here. The high amperage of the spa's electroshock exercise machine has transformed your genuine gold-plated medallion into a mass of molten metal now resembling modern sculpture. You decide to name it Suffering in Silence. There was nothing silent about how I suffered, but now I do see something kind of glinting down here. What is this? A large pearl earring lies on the floor, exactly where that naked woman dropped it as she ran screeching from the room. There we go. Now I'm guessing both of these things will come in handy for Shamra upstairs. And I think that's about all we can do in here. Hidden penis, there it is. Now that I think about it a little bit deeper, uh, this whole hidden boobs and penises all over the place was the birthright of uh, Where's Dildo in the uh, in Seven, which I, I really, is really the ticket. I, I love that part, especially the theme song, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Don't worry. I know I feel like I'm just sort of rushing this game along, and I am, so deal. So I think I was kind of on the right track when uh, I'm thinking about repairing the pipe in the electroshock uh, thing is that we need something to wrap around it, but I just didn't have anything like I thought maybe like that inflatable beaver would have been fine or like a towel or something. I've been everywhere, but now that this room is emptied since Thunderbird's no longer here, no one it's just not the cool place to be anymore. But the person who was using this machine is gone, and then this is kind of like a belt thing. It's the new Super Cellulite Bun Shaker 600. And I think that's supposed to be your hint because they mentioned cellulite, but you can take this. Eventually. You remove the wide rubber belt from the Super Cellulite Bun Shaker 600. I'm also getting a little concerned about my points here because I really want to get the thousand points of this one because I think there's like a little, they make a little show of it like to congratulate you. But I suppose everything comes in its own good time. All right, let's go ahead and fix up the old cellulite drainage salon. I think this rubber belt should do the trick. Hmm, what if I wrap this elastic belt around the hose? All right, let's check it out. We should be fine now. Is this the moment you've been waiting for? Oh, yeah. All right. Dr. Swinebutt's mighty cellulite drainage machine appears to be in perfect working order once again. Congratulations, Larry. Now you're ready for Gammy. 
Alright, let's turn that off. Let's go fetch Gammy and let's get her hooked up to this thing and I think we begin another long series of stupid ass fetch quests. Alright, Gammy, you ready for this? Hey, Al! So did you do it, Larry? Did you fix the cellulite drainage salon? Don't be so bossy, I got it. I sure did, Gammy. I told you I would and I did. Would you like to be my first victim, um, sucker, uh, um, patient? Wow. Would I? Follow me, bub. Bub. <laughs> I haven't heard the term bub in a while, nor have I heard from the last part, art, art card summon a butthead. I haven't used the word butthead since I was, I don't know, seven? Whoa, baby. Welcome to Cellulite City. Oh, come now. Be, be nice. I'll be right behind you, Gammy. You know she's self-conscious. Assuming I can take it. Let me get the door for you, Gam. I got you. Here, Gammy. Allow me. <laughs> Allow me to follow you. All right. She is just so excited. Oh, don't go in there. Why not? What does she have that I don't have? A gigantic butt. I can think of at least two things. Breasts. Hi, Gammy. I'm so glad you could come. Don't. <sighs> I'd be glad too. Boom. All right, Gammy. Um, I guess we just plug you full of these things. I don't know how this works. Okay, Gammy. Here we go. Lie very still while I stick this in. Right, so the table lighter goes in Ooh. there, and then the crescent moon goes here. The Your crazy thighs. straw goes this way, and then the uh, revolver was in the conservatory. Oh, I knew that. Oh, it forgot to take them off of there, so now there's two of everything. That's adorable. All right, Gammy, here you go. Suck away. All right, Gammy, here we go. I hope I got everything fixed. We'll find out in a minute. For your sake, I hope so too. Is that a threat? Is that a threat? She's just gonna now kill me if this doesn't work. A while, Gammy. No, oh, I don't mind, Larry. I've waited so long for this moment. I can't tell you how strong my feelings are for you right now. You're such a wonderful man doing all this for little old me. Well, old mate. But could I ask you one teeny weeny little The first tiny of many, thing? yes, I'm sure. Could you bring me a fresh orange? The sound of this machine has made me want to suck on something, too. <sighs> Don't even think about it, Larry. Oh, it is far too late for that, my friend. Don't try and take the moral high road now. All right, one fresh-ish orange. It's been in my pocket for a couple hours, Gammy. Are you all right with that? Oh, why, thank you, darling. You certainly know how to treat a woman. Oh, but please don't stop what you're doing. I can just feel myself getting thinner and thinner, and I love it. I hope you'll remember all the trouble I went to when we're all done. You oh my God! Forget about me. Ew! Is that coming out of her? No, don't you worry, Larry, my boy. You'll Ew. taste pleasures far sweeter than this so orange. Gross. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna peel that, or are you just gonna eat it like an apple? That's really weird. I can't do anything. I'll wait. Go ahead, Gammy. Enjoy your orange. Come on, Gammy. That's enough for one session. You've lost at least 16 inches. What do you say? No way. I'm no quitter. I want to have a girlish figure for once in my life. Just keep right on sucking, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> Remember, turnabout is fair play. Huh? Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, I sure could use a cool cloth for my fevered brow. In fact, I promise I'll make you a happy man if I live through this. There's a lot of promises being thrown around right now, and I don't think any of this, whatever. All right, so I have the cloth. Now it needs to be cool and wet, and I know just the place for that. Be sure to bring back a nice, cool cloth for my head. You just mentioned it. You know how me. good I'll look when you're done with me. Just imagine the fun we can have, Larry. Gammy, I don't believe a word you're saying anymore. All right, so let's head on over to the kitchen, which of course is way over here. God, I hate this part of the game. Actually, I hate a lot of parts of this game. And by the way, who's going to run the front of the house while she's away? She should have gotten someone to replace... Oh, whatever. This is really bad business acumen. Just abandoning your post like that? I know you're excited, Gam, but come on. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Aw, oh, crap. I think I just kind of shoved this down to the ice and it's good. Maybe? Or do I have to wet it first? You don't need an ice pack, but that ice would cool off whatever's placed within it. Oh, I was right to begin with. Ah, I got a... There, it's soaking wet. All right, that's step one, which should be enough, but now I got to shove it in the ice to make it nice and cool. Burying the washcloth in the dirty ice, you leave it for a few seconds until it gets cold. That ought to do it. It was really clever how you cooled down this washcloth. But by putting it in ice? That's not clever. That's common flippin' sense, Larry. All right, let's go give her the one, and then we'll find out what else we've got to do. Oh, Larry. Just place it there on my forehead. Ah. Oh. That feels so nice, Larry. <laughs> I'm getting all soft and fuzzy inside. That's probably not a good sign. I think you're losing blood. Temperature somewhat. But now I think what I really want is a nice bottle of mineral water. Oh, you'd do that for me, wouldn't you, Larry Honey Bunny? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll make you one happy man when you do. Shut Believe up, you Gammy. Me. Gammy, just shut it. I'm gonna get you some water. But then I think our business here is concluded. Oh my god, oh, it's still Larry, filling honey, up. Oh, Larry, honey, don't forget my mineral water. Shut wine. up, Gammy. All right, well, I can't order room service, but looks like everybody else in the world can. And oh, look, somebody didn't finish their bottle of water. You grab the bottle of mineral water from the tray, never knowing when you'll have a use for something without substance that's tasteless and overpriced. Like the game? Oh, Jesus, Gammy, are you still alive? You, fill, you filled up like four tanks? My lord, woman, you've got to be losing a lot of, uh, well, minerals, but here's some mineral water. Maybe that'll help. Here you go. I brought your mineral water, Gammy, and I think you'd better check out your new body. You look wonderful. Hey, it's about time you showed up with it. I feel like my eyeballs are about to be sucked into my body. Turn this thing off. Now you have to worry about the sagging flesh for a couple of years. You're so... svelte. <laughs> My golly, old Doc Swinebutt really knew his business, didn't he? My god! Look at me! Yeah, you look great. Look at that. Oh, why, I do look wonderful. All my life I've hauled around a rear balcony and now it's finally gone! You look wonderful! By God. I can't wait to show every single person in La Costalata my new body. But, Gammy, I thought maybe tonight, you know, after I helped you, you and I could, uh... Oh, Losser, you're so idealistic. Why would anyone who looks as good as I have anything to do with anyone who pfft, looks like you? <laughs> oh. Ouch. Now that I can have any man I want, I... Wait! Gammy! Oh. Stop! <sighs> Too late, Larry. She's gone. Well, that was, I mean, expected, but, you know, psychologically, I guess it's pretty much true because now that she's been having so... She was so self-conscious for so many years, and now that that, her, that baggage literally has been removed, she's just, she just, you know, she basically just kind of goes crazy with it, you know? It's really sad. But, uh, fortunately, now that we have all of this, uh, what amounts to be fat uh, in these tanks, and we have... The old whale oil lamp's wick is still usable. Yeah. Which may not be the case with you, Larry. So, yeah, and that's what these lamps ran off of, uh, tallow and fat. So, let's fill her up. These tanks contain the cellulite removed from patients. They sure do. Gimme. You might use that on the cellulite drainage machine. That's what. But it wouldn't do any good. Uh, oh, wait, here it is. This little really super pixelated spigot right up front for whatever reason dispenses cellulite. I guess this is how they empty the tanks, but why do they put this in the front of the room? Oh, God, that's so gross. 
Good idea, Larry. It's a well-known fact that early settlers of the Old West often substituted cellulite when they ran out of whale oil. I don't think... At least that's what Freddie Farkas, frontier pharmacist, told oh, me. Oh, come. Stop. The, the plug. Well, actually, no. You can go and plug that game. That, that game is awesome. All right. So now we just have to go light it, and then I think... We are pretty much done. Oh, yeah. No, I got to put some ice in my bucket and then we're good. I told you so. She's just not good enough for you, my little manhandler. Yeah. Oh, fed up. All right. Two last little chores. Hey, Al. Two last little chores that we have to do and then we can... Oh, now there's just like no one here at all. All right. Now, uh, now that I've been up to the penthouse, I'm not sure if I can just like go up there. I think I still need to go up through the dumb waiter, but it doesn't matter because we still got another place to go. So let's fill up the ice bucket. Pouring the old melted ice into the little receptacle on the ice machine, you prepare to catch a few new cubes. Right in the face. Are you getting any of these? All right. Well, good job. Good catching. And then lastly, we grab one last match for our matchless Larry and strike it up. Lighting your whale oil lamp with a match is a good idea. But first, shouldn't you light the match? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Uh, what do I light a match on? I use my teeth like they do in the, in the Western movies? You try to strike the match by rubbing it on your trousers, but polyester just isn't rough enough to start it burning. Oh, wow, I've forgotten about this puzzle. How about the carpet? There's not much reason to use that here in the blues bar. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. A lot of people have been telling me that my uh, I have not been using my zipper icon enough in this entire playthrough. So before I do what I need to do, I'm just gonna see if I can strip the fish. Sorry, you can't mount that. At least, not now. Nope, you can only mount that in DOS box. All right, I think I can light it on my zipper. Yeah, there, oh my god. You did it! A practical use for the zipper icon, that's amazing. All right, and light the whale oil lamp. Good idea. Your burning lamp bears a remarkable resemblance to the universal symbol of learning. <gasps> oh, my nose. All right, up we go in mock speed. There we go. Boom. It's kind of a cute little animation. I'm kind of sad it went so quickly. All right, let's give Shamar the last of my bullshit items and then we can continue and hopefully leave Leisure Suit Larry 6 to the annals of time and history. Shamar, I think you should have this pearl. Oh, Larry, I have no need for more jewelry. Besides, while this might be a large pearl, it does have a slight flaw over here. But wait, you're not just giving me yet another the ability to move us spiritually above the fetid plane of our daily dreary existence and take us to a realm apart. I am park. so bored. A place where, if we're fortunate, another tiny fraction of the ultimate truth may be revealed, where we cease for a few fleeting moments to be these self-consumed blobs of pro- Gosh, you're right. Would you like to join me in a glass of lukewarm champagne? Not really. Well, I... The ice in the bucket has all melted, leaving you with a bottle of fine Son lukewarm of champagne. I literally filled it up just before I got here. All right, so we gave her all the rest of the baubles. I skipped it because it's just a bunch of crap and nonsense. Uh, so now I gotta go fill up the ice bucket. I, I, I don't think there's anything else I need to give to her beyond that, right? All right, this is about as fresh as this ice can possibly be when I get it up there. The ice cannot possibly melt this fast. High art, hopefully for the last time. I don't think I'm gonna get max points in here, and honestly, I don't care anymore. Shamra, I've given you all my <laughs> hard-earned knowledge. Now, will you share this champagne with me? Oh, yes, Larry. I would love to. I just hope that I can somehow find a way to express my appreciation for all you've done for me. Your wisdom has clarified so many things for me, enabling me to reach higher planes of understanding than I've even dreamed of before. You've shown me the purpose of life. You've given meaning to my otherwise meaningless existence. 
How can I ever repay you? Well, there is just one little itty-bitty thing that we haven't covered yet. Oh, thank you, Larry. I promise to give it my all. And here's to you, Larry Laffer. There we go. This is the true love that Larry was like for. And then full motion video, well, postcard motion video and uh, in a video game at this point was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Even though these are probably like what, like 30 by 10 videos or something. Yeah, okay, now we're just getting silly. Okay. I always thought this was kind of a cute little gag. Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's awful. And out comes the train. And in goes the flower. All right. That was... That was... Oh, God. Oh, yeah. She's turned off of sex forever now, I think, is the imagery is that's supposed to be saying. At, and that's it. Okay. That's really? Is it? And ladies and gentlemen, thank God that's over. I remember as a product of its time playing it back in the 90s, you know, it was raunchy and it was fun. It was, it was great. But as you sort of mature out of being a, uh, you know, a 11 year old, you realize even back in the 90s how kind of awful it was and now in modern times it's it's just like when you're looking back at the the olden days of like 60s racism and civil rights and homophobia and everything like way back like McCarthy era shit how laughable it is now this is the same thing this kind of weird like sexism and, and homophobia and transphobia and all that kind of thing is just laughably silly which is I guess a good thing in a way that to know that we've been able to move past all this kind of ridiculousness and that we've reached the age of enlightenment where things like this seem silly and dumb and ridiculous and and uh, we see where I'm going with it let's just let the credits play out so um I guess I'll be going now <laughs> gotta get ready for tonight right what what's going on tonight Larry what what are you talking about you, you can't just leave us like that Larry if you're, gonna if you're gonna interrupt the credits, have something to say. Well, I'm done being philosophical anyway, but I do notice that the credits are the original low-res version, because you can see, look at the size of them pixels, baby. You got pixels the size of puppies here. Oh, here we go. So, Jan Rabson, yeah, we know him. Uh, Neil Ross. Now, Jan Rabson and Neil Ross, I believe, will be joining us in the next game, Legion Suit Larry 7. And to answer those questions, because I was kind of on the fence of whether or not... Oh, there are Mary Kay Bergman, uh, Cheryl Bernstein, Marcia. Anyway, to answer the questions of will I be doing the last couple of pseudo games like Box Office Bust and uh, what was the other one? Uh, Magna Cum Laude. While I have played Magnum Cum Laude once, I think, uh, what was that? Like on PlayStation 2, I, like, I rented it or something when back when renting video games was still like a thing. It was kind of nice to see Larry back in a way, but it was so bad. No, 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 I, I did play it on PC. I still got the discs around here somewhere. But uh, there, Dave Fenoy, a lot of people recognize Dave Fenoy uh, from King's Quest VI as the pawn shop owner. Anyway, uh, but no, I will not be playing those games because they are so irredeemably bad, not only in their tone and message, but also just in the gameplay alone. It's like all you do is you go up and you talk to people over and over again. You play their little mini games until they like you enough. And then you get like a little cutscene, uh, sex scene, which are really pretty raunchy and kind of disturbing in a way. I mean, go ahead and give it a try if you can find it. I think you could probably find it on good old games or something, but just go watch like another Let's Play of it or watch the cutscenes and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's pretty they're pretty bad. And then I heard Box Office Bust was even worse. And then they just kind of gave up trying to re... Well, they did kind of reboot the series with a remake of one recently. The Reloaded version. Which Aulo was involved in. But those other two games he was not. And has purposely distanced himself from it as far as humanly possible. Have a nice day, you two. Fuck it.
Stay tuned for the greatest hits of Leisure Suit Larry 6. Oh, is this going to play the... Wait, what is... Oh, this is like a digital version. Oh, is this Al Lowe actually playing the sax? Oh, this is a cool little treat. Oh, this is worth it. This makes me feel a lot better after suffering through the game. This is a nice little reward. I guess that's over. Anything else? Oh, it's just gonna play the entire soundtrack. I don't have that kind of time, so... Uh, God, Leisure Suit Larry 6. That, that was what I was dreading for this entire playthrough, so I'm glad you were able to join me. We saw it as a product of its time. I, I'm just going to leave it at that and just never touch this game ever, ever again. So I'll see you with Leisure Suit Larry 7. Which is a lot more fun. Leisure Suit Larry 7 is probably my favorite game of the series. And hopefully I can show you why. And I'm hoping it really stands up. And I'm not remembering it for bad reasons. Instead of good reasons. It's cartoony and fun and great. Though I have seen in the comments that people are saying that Leisure Suit Larry 7 was their least favorite in the series. So I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of curious to find out why. I remember playing that game a lot. Anyway, my name is Paul. And as always, uh, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.